All right, today's gig, guys, is right here in my local town. That's easy to get to. There's no seating, you know, it's been sold out for my show. So that's a really good thing. That makes me really happy. Maybe slightly nervous, but I'm all right. It's gonna be fun. I am gonna have a good time. First summer library show of the year. It is uh, July 8th. Mm -hmm. Or July 9th, I'm sorry. July 9th and it's a Tuesday and it's hot. Hot and buggy. Uh, let's go do this. It'll be fun, 45 minute show. We'll see you guys in a bit. Yeah, that corn is at that point now, guys, where I'm not seeing those mountains. That's crazy how it gets this high. There you go, you can see them there. Way off in the distance in the haze. Now they're missing again. Oh, summertime, summertime, summertime. Sure is hot in this part of the country right now. It's hot all over the country, actually. Ah, I don't know what to say. All right, tonight for dinner, we're gonna have tacos, soft tacos. I'm letting those tacos steam right up here in the sun, get nice and warm. I'm making some Spanish rice. I didn't realize that was gonna take 25 minutes, but now we're into it. And I've got some turkey, uh, and I've got that in Speedo sauce. I've got that soaking in that right now, so that should be good. And I'm gonna put that in the frying pan in a little bit. Guys, it's so hot out right now. It's like 90 degrees. Got half the yard done today. Too hot to go in the river. Kind of too hot to do anything, really. Uh, I have been over here. This is my little office, outdoor office. I've got several fans going right now, or a couple fans. My coal bolt there, but I got that plugged in now with no battery. And I've got this one over here, and I got this one up here. It's that kind of day. Tomorrow I have two gigs, they're about an hour away or so, a little bit more than an hour. I will, I will come back here after my gigs and uh, spend the night and then I'm going to head up to Plattsburgh on Thursday morning for a gig. Nice. I'm going to head up to Plattsburgh Thursday morning for a gig at the uh, ARC path. That's the... Uh, the adults with special needs that's always a fun gig and then the following day I'll stay overnight somewhere in that area and the following day I am up where am I I'm in Lake Placid then I have a day off but on that day off which is Saturday I have three graduation parties to go to, to go to with my wife and Sunday I have a gig with Steve Zucchini our first gig of the summer season together and uh, that'll be fun it's just uh, almost unbearably hot out here. But, you know, this is what I do. Don't go inside and stay outside. I just like outside. I don't care how hot it is. That's how I live. This is what I do. I've got, I've got the bungee cords there because I had the umbrella up before and the wind was blowing it. So I had to kind of steady it. But now it's down. I guess I could take the bungee cords down as well. Look at this cute little look at this cute little bunny out in the sun. He's about the size of my No, he's really small. Hey buddy, how you doing? It's pretty hot, isn't it, huh? He is so cute. Tiny. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Hey buddy, I gotta come by. He lives underneath there, I guess. Here's what we got so far. Mm. Turkey's all cooked up, pretty much. And the rice dish is... It's a little soupy, but it's its good. That's done as well. Alright, guys, it's like 90 degrees. 
and I'm here in Fort Hunter at the Free Library, Fort Hunter Free Library. I guess it's in maybe Minesville, something like that. This is town of Florida. It feels like Florida. Anyway, uh, some not so good news, but maybe I hope that things are better. I don't know. I got, this was an hour long trip and you know, it's super hot. And I got within, I got within three miles of this place and this vehicle lost all power. I mean, I had power, the engine was going, but, uh, it, it had no power to go anywhere. I was going like between less than five miles an hour, you know, just enough, just barely going. And I was able to pop up myself into this gig. And, you know, I went in and did the gig, and uh, which went great. And I called my mechanic and I said, hey, you know, this is what's going on. And he said, well, go out and try it. He goes, it, maybe it'll be all right now. Well, it does have power back, but I, I don't think it's all right though, right? I mean, I'm not feeling... I'm not feeling so good about, um, you know, what happened. So I have seven miles to go before I get to the next gig, and I'm just hoping that I can get there. I'm hoping that I can get there and that everything will be all right. Um, now I'm on my own. The, library, the librarian here was going to give me a ride, you know, if I needed it, but I, I hope I don't need one. Well, now I, now I don't have a ride. By the time you guys see this, this this will be probably remedied, I hope. And I also hope it's not expensive. But I guess when you get a used vehicle, you're taking your chances, right? I just, just reached 90,000 miles with this. And, you know, this is my first engine issue. I don't know what happened. Okay, that's enough. Let's go try this and hope for the best. How about that bus, huh? That was there a couple years ago when I came. That's an interesting paint. Ooh, that's a bridge with my That's cool. Look at that. It's like a landscape. All right, you guys. I made it here, no problem. It was like there was nothing wrong with the van. But of course, now I don't have any trust in this vehicle at the moment. Uh, I'm sorry, Ben. It's just, you know, we got to find out what's wrong with you. I got so much traveling to do in the next uh, the next week, boy. So I do have another car I can use to go up north tomorrow. I need to go to Lake Placid, and Plattsburgh, up into the Adirondacks, and I'm grateful that I have a car to use. But I'm not going to chance it with this one. I don't know what that was about. So we're going to get this van into the shop, man. It's hot. And uh, have them take a look at it. Wow. Maybe it was just a free thing and everything's fine. But I'm, I'm, I'll pay money to have them just look it over and reassure me, you know? Because I'm not doing any... I'm not going to go two hours into the mountains and have this thing break down in the middle of nowhere. And then next week, man, i got to go to Akwesasne, which is... It's up at the Canadian... It's up in Canada, so it's like a four-hour drive. Mm -mm. I can't chance that unless this thing's been looked at. All right, it's kind of sketchy, uh, sketchy little area right here, but it's a small little town, so should be all right. I'm gonna go over and get something to eat, and I'm gonna bring my stuff in. So I'm in the Kia, guys. My parents will let me borrow their Kia. It's the one I had during the winter time. Uh, I think I've got a throttle sensor issue with the van now. We're not sure. i got to recreate it. We did the codes and nothing showed up right then. So I've got to recreate this problem. And I'm not going to have a chance until next week. After work on Monday. So for the next couple days, we'll be driving around in the Kia. So right now I'm trying to save some money. I'm not trying, I am. Saving money for a backup vehicle, second vehicle, a vehicle for the winter time and for situations such as this. It's really windy. So my wife is out in Ithaca uh, with her son and her granddaughter and they're tornado 
warnings. She's in, uh, what do you call it, Wegmans grocery store. They got everybody in the center of the store right now uh, to be safe. And uh, here the wind is at times whipping like crazy. It looks like something's coming in. We have been fortunate so far. No, no rain, no anything, you know, from this hurricane. No, what? I can't think of the name of it. Downtown Plattsburgh, guys. Uh, I think that used to be the Royal. Right here. Somewhere in here. Man. I don't recognize anything now. How time changes things, guys. I just... I know this is the parking lot down here, but it never, I don't know, it's just different, okay? I'm gonna get out and walk around a little bit. The Saranac River is raging. So that was Philion's down there. Right there. Not anymore. I feel old. I spent 10 years living in this town and it was a huge, huge part of my life. It seemed like a lot more than 10 years. And that was over 30 years ago. And I really have only been back here a couple times. And it, it looks different. It's really changed. I recognize some stuff and then I don't recognize things. The eagle still there has not fallen yet. There's a story behind that. You can look it up. Plattsburgh, New York. So the Saranac River flows into Lake Champlain, which is up there, way, way up there. Kind of can see it. still here and that's pizza bono used to go in there you could get a slice of uh, cold cheese cold cheese pizza just as I had it 30 years ago here and the owner still works here mm -mm. it's gonna be good this used to be mothers long ago this is the alleyway here we used to call this the alley tour we'd go from the monopole play there, and then we'd cross over to Peabody's, which is upstairs. I don't think it's there anymore, Peabody's, but monopole is. It's where I first jammed out. This is where I first played music at P.D. Finnan's. And the outside looks exactly the same. I love these murals they have all over the place. That's great. Plattsburgh has so much cool art in it now. I love how they have done these murals all over the place. Oh boy. It's so weird to not know a place you lived in for 10 years. Campus Corner right here, I didn't even recognize it. Wow. This dead ends, but that's all right. We're gonna go down here. This is right down by Lake Champlain, guys. Is this where Captain Frank was down here, way back when? 
You play in his boat and he make you steak. Give you 50 bucks. One thing's for sure, it has gotten a lot busier around this town. Much, much busier. Crossing over the Saranac River here. And this will take you right up to the campus, college campus, if I just keep going. Okay, I used to work at Express Lane right here years ago. <laughs> Once took my car there years ago. It wasn't called that. That was called like Rollins. And they ripped me off, charged me so much money for something silly. But I was a college student, bring my car in, and they let me have it. Cord Street. It's all coming back to me now. I think Steve Zucchini used to live there, too. Yes, right there. I lived right in that building right there. Ha. Huh. There's another place Steve Zucchini used to live right there. I'm finding all his places. Where's mine? Yep, I lived on both sides of that place. Memorial Hall, that was where the gym was, you know, that type of thing. This is like the main center right here of the campus right here. McComb. My brother Eric lived there. Oh, white face. Did I live there? I don't know. Algonquin. Hood, Mason. We're gonna take a left right here because I lived in Moffat. For sure. To Friedenberg. First place I lived when I moved to Plattsburgh and went to school was Moffat Hall, which is right here in front of us. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine just living with thousands of kids that are your age, you know, and just, let's have a good time, kids. And that's what we did back in those days. Oh yeah, there's, there's, uh, there's the Saranac right there. I remember going across this bridge right here. This is always a cool bridge to walk across. Bridge, huh? Ah. Well, coming back up here kind of makes me feel makes me feel lonely in a way. Like this world that I knew that I've often thought about, you know, throughout the years, the last 25, 30 years. And I come up here and I can't, it doesn't jive with my memory really. It's just different. So much so that, yeah, I don't feel like I know it anymore. I recognize bits and pieces, but it's no longer, it's no longer the Plattsburgh that I once knew. That's cool, you know, I mean, time goes on, right? Things are clouding over. I think we'll head uptown now. We've done our nostalgic trip through town. I did manage to see several places I lived and yeah, now we're gonna go. All right guys, I'm usually pretty flexible and you know, I'm willing to work with people, but <laughs> this room is something else. The towels are like, not that clean, really. This bed. Uh, yeah. It looked like this when I came in, you know. This is what it looked like. That's what the pillows looked like. Haven't even touched the pillows, all right? Haven't touched the pillows. That's what they looked like. You know, I was like, I better pull back the sheets. 
I've already brushed a lot of it away, but... You know, we got some pubes in here. A few pubic hairs hanging out. I brushed a bunch of them out, and... I don't know. I'm not even gonna sleep on this part of the bed. You know, I was, I was like, okay, I'm gonna come in and take a bath. I don't have any hot water. I've got, excuse the expression, but I got like piss warm water. If it's even that, it's just kind of, kind of warm. This room cost me $188. Mm, I guess they have a fishing tournament going on, but $188 to have piss warm water and pubic hairs in my bed and sheets that I bet you they've been on this bed for one or two people. They couldn't even make these pillows look good. So in the morning I'll go down and try to get at least the regular rate, you know, like which is like $115. Look at that window, isn't that beautiful too with all the crap on it? Uh, the reviews were not that great on this place anyway. But they weren't this bad. Look at that. The ice, the ice thing was kind of didn't even have a plastic bag in it. It was just like, had water in it. La Quinta, or however you say it, don't stay in one. Unless it has good reviews. This is just a disgusting place. But I have got no place else to sleep tonight, so that's what we're doing. Grateful I got a place to sleep, but man. Woo. I'm just leaving Lake Placid, guys. Um, I just had an amazing gig here. Uh, everything's going really well. I'm so excited that people are really digging this, you know, my new program. I can only hope that it would go as well as it's been going, so that's good. Very good. Everybody's having me back, and everybody's going to spread the word. Just to give you some idea, that's a mirror lake down there. If you can see it, I can't do any pointing right now. I'm driving, but... Yeah, the Winter Olympics were here in 1932 and 1980. There's all kinds of people, you know, uh, training for the Olympics here, you know, or other great, great, I mean, there's some major athletes in this area. All right, there's the, the ski jump right there. Steve and I did a gig at the bottom of that last year on one of, a very rainy, 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 cold day in October paid well but the gig was not that fun and look at that guys Adirondack Lodge yeah like most places now uh, everything's very crowded with all these hikers and actually days like today you know it's not even it's not a good idea to even be hiking Because, you know, you're going to do damage to the trails. They're all muddy. Yeah, this is just people that are hiking. How about that, huh? Woohoo! Every year when I come through, I film it, but I love it, you know? And those of you who have not seen... Uh, those videos I put out, well, now you can see it. I wonder if you're not allowed to put a boat out here. I never see anybody uh, with a kayak out here. I, mean, I know you can't put a motorboat out there, but I wonder if you can kayak or canoe out here. This is a six million acre park with made up of both private and public lands. And there are literally thousands and thousands of lakes, rivers, streams, ponds. It's loaded with water. It's a great Stewart's. <laughs> you know me, I love Stewart's. That's a good Stewart's too. Out here in the middle of nowhere, you gotta have a good Stewart's. I feel like whenever I come to this area, it's raining. I get here and it seems like I pick a rainy day. It doesn't always rain, but it's 
seems to rain when I come through. It's a big sky area, big mountain area. This seems big. Big for the east, you know? It's not like out west, but I feel like these are much more welcoming mountains. Marcy Field parking area. Alright guys, we're gonna jump back on the the north way here. Alright guys, we're back. We're on the bridge here, exit 16. I just came from that way. It's a cool little three-wheeler in front of us. It's wild how it's like got the one tire on the back, two on the front. Um, good thing that we're off the north way because I'm feeling really sleepy. Alright guys, we're on the final stretch here. We are on our way home. Woohoo! No more driving. I'm done. I'm tired. I mean, it's not like I've been on the road that long. I've only been on the road for... Uh, mm, like three hours. Maybe a little bit more. I went from Plate, Plateburg, Plattsburgh to uh, Lake Placid, and I took the longest route, you know, the back roads. It was really nice. Such a beautiful area, man. So I think I got the same thing as my sister. She can't be in the car more than a half an hour driving, and she'll be falling asleep, you know? I'm kind of the same way. I just. Oh, that's a big bump. I'm glad I don't. I could never be a trucker. Uh, I can't stay awake when I am uh, driving, man. It just, I get so sleepy. I'd be pulling over all the time. There you go. There's some tarot for the ants. And every year, without fail, I get poison ivy. And I'm out of poison ivy stuff, so I remember this stuff works well. And this, too. Or something like it, you know. But I know this is going to work, and hopefully this does. I've got this. All right. This does not work. I got this, and it is not giving me much relief at all. So I'm going to go with these two. I know they're better. I just spent about 50 bucks in, uh, you know, poison ivy aid. But hey, it's yeah, I'm miserable if I don't put it on. All right, we're out of here. I've got my chores done. I don't need to drive around anymore today. So let's let's head home. Back to the base. It's good to be back in a... Back to the base, you know? Can't wait to get that van fixed. Gotta figure out what the problem is. Guys, guys, guys. Summertime is moving along. What season does it? Some you just wish wouldn't move so quickly. I've been so busy, man. Whoa. Some guy picking up bottles. He's right down the road. Anyway, July 12th, you know? What's up? July 12th. Not quite the middle of July yet, but we're approaching it. And, uh... All the family's gone. My parents' anniversary, which went amazingly well, guys. Uh, it was great. It rained, but it was perfect. It was like perfect. Look at this corn. Ooh. 